Today in the news, Nvidia is drip feeding GPUs to keep the prices high and we got our first look at the 4090. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA. So Jay's Two Cents posted a video about the recent earnings call from the company. I gotta say, he made some really good points, but let's start by breaking down what was said. Jay pointed out that for the next couple of quarters, that's two quarters, so six months, NVIDIA is planning on fixing their inventory. As you might already know, the green team has a lot of overstock. The crypto crash came and now miners aren't buying and there's a huge amount of users used cards floating around, more supply than demand, and of course, the prices are gonna drop. So by fixing their inventory, they're talking about artificially keeping the prices high by drip feeding new GPUs into the market instead of actually selling the stock that they still have. Not only that, but Nvidia clearly stated that the RTX 3000 and 4000 series would coexist. We'll probably see new flagship GPUs, but no mid-range ones to keep the prices high. This actually coincides with some news that we got this week. According to current leaks, three new variants of the RTX 3000 series are allegedly coming to market. An RTX 3060 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM, an RTX 3060 Ti with GDDR6X memory, and a 3070 Ti with 8 gigabytes of memory. Hey, Future Snows here, and while these were originally rumors from Twitter user Megasize GPU, it seems like two of those GPUs are actually real, specifically the 8 gigabyte version of the RTX 3060 and the 3060 Ti with GDDR6X. This info was solidified by videocards.com and their sources at various AIBs. According to the new information, those GPUs would launch in October, so possibly after the 40 series announcement. These three cards seem to fill very specific areas in the lineup. The new 3060 could cost slightly less thanks to the reduced memory. The 3060 Ti with GDDR6X is probably there to assert dominance over whatever Intel is gonna come up with. Now, keep in mind, I said less for two of the GPUs, but the MSRP is of course dictated by Nvidia and with their inventory manipulation, the prices could very well still be around the regular MSRP. Interestingly enough though, the new 3070 Ti could use the GA102 chip currently being used by 3080s and 3090s. By focusing on the sale of those chips first, Nvidia could liquidate more GA102 chips, introduce a flagship, I don't know, RTX 4090 GPU to satisfy investors, and all that without worrying that the 3090s and 3080s would stop selling, or at least GA102 would stop selling, because these chips that are used in those GPUs would be passed down to 3070 models. They did something similar at the end of the RTX 2060's life. Now, of course, that would allow for the 3080s and 3070s to coexist with this new flagship GPU. Basically, Nvidia is trying to stretch the Ampere architecture as far as possible to get rid of inventory and avoid discounting the uh, 3000 series too much. All that while releasing something new and shiny for the investors. Heck, the company announced the special GTC keynote called Project Beyond with a little puzzle that uh, once decoded says GeForce Beyond. Thankfully, it's not too far from now. It's gonna be on the September 20th at 8 a.m. I gotta wonder what GeForce Beyond could mean here. Are they retiring the GeForce title like they did with GTX? Maybe we're looking at uh, another Titan card or something, who knows? Anyways, if that really is their plan, and it seems like it is, I guess it gives Intel an advantage. It's clear we're not going to see a 4060 anytime soon, so the ARC 770 might actually sell okay. Hopefully, AMD can come in and force Nvidia to discount their GPUs with a good lineup. So what are your thoughts on this? By the way, check out Jay's video on it. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting. He goes through the entire earnings call. Also in NVIDIA news, a benchmark of what is supposedly an RTX 4090 just popped up. The information comes from Chip Hell, so take it with a grain of salt, but the user who shared the benchmark also shared some extra tidbits. First, the graphics score on TimeSpy Extreme is at around 20,000 points. That's super close to the 19,000 points that was leaked before by Tum Apisak. He also added that this model is at a default TDP of 450 watts, but that the cooler is 
huge and could support higher TDPs. His card was also running at a staggering 3 GHz during the test, which aligns with the rumors. Thankfully, that huge cooler managed to keep it in check at around 65 degrees Celsius while running the benchmark and at about 35C when idle. Once again, we're about 9 days away from the GTC event and hopefully we'll see the new beast in action. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.